Donetsk in eastern Ukraine has endured another 24 hours of heavy shelling from the Ukrainian army. Rocket launches have once again ripped an entire neighborhood apart. At least two locals have been killed and many houses burnt. People there are learning to cope with their families and friends falling victim to Kiev's assault. Paula Slea has the story. This is a place where the living are among the dead and where the dead are being buried among the living. Under this mound of dirt lies the love of Pavel's life, his wife Ludmilla. Pavel takes me to the place where Ludmilla was killed. It's only a street away. She was walking home when the missile hit. Pavel met Ludmilla ten years ago. He says God smiled down on him that day. The streets are ghostly quiet, except for a few children who've braved the sunshine in between shelling. Residents hunker down in cellars as mortar and artillery fire rains down. Telephones are broken, mobile phones almost never work, and shops are boarded up. The cemetery is about five kilometers away from the town of Shakhtorsk. It's a straight road to get there, but it's a very difficult route to take when you're coming under shelling. Evgeny is a volunteer gravedigger. He says 150 people have died in the past three weeks. That's seven a day, many of whom never make it here. But the bodies are piling up. And like Pavel, residents are dazed in shock. He gives us his daughter's phone number and asks if we will call her. With no access to the outside world, he hasn't yet told her her mother is dead. As the Ukrainian army closes in, terrified residents prepare to wait it out surrounded by their dead. Paulus Lea RT, Shakhtorsk, Eastern Ukraine.